there's now a measles diagnosis down in Atlanta. It started out the Disney properties out in the western United States, and it's made its way out to Atlanta. And this brings to mind, even you've had presidential candidates and other people talking about the idea of not vaccinating your children. Uh, there's the public good versus the concept of what do we do uh, as a society. And there's a public good versus the right of families and individuals in order to, to you know, have their freedom. Scott now is a pediatrician. He's a doctor at Mercy Medical Center. And uh, we thought we would check in with him for the latest on this. Dr. Now, thanks for joining us here. This uh, whole rigmarole, politicians involved, parents just saying, I'm not going to vaccinate my kids. There's a reason why vaccinations are there. Very simply explain that to us, right? Well, I think there's no bigger bang for the health care dollar than immunizations. They've saved thousands upon thousands upon thousands of lives and millions and millions and millions of dollars of, of health care dollars and missed work dollars and, and have, have uh, saved injuries to, you know, permanent neurologic injuries to children. Um, it's, there's just, it's, it's undoubted that it's the greatest advance that's, that we've known in medicine pretty much forever. Um, there just isn't anything that's had a greater effect. All you have to do is go back and go into an old uh, cemetery and look at the headstones of young children that line those places, and, and you'll see that just children died with this in the past. Absolutely. Dr. Scott now is a pediatrician with Mercy Medical Center joining us here on the WMT Morning Show. This started, I don't know, maybe 15 years ago or so. Maybe the roots go back earlier than that, but I remember some celebrity, uh, I don't know if she even deserves the label celebrity, Jenny McCarthy. I'll make that distinction, not you. You don't have to worry about it, but Jenny McCarthy said, oh no, I'm not going to get my kid vaccinated because of autism. Is there science anywhere on this, or is this just somebody spouting off? Well, the beginning of the science occurred uh, in England, um, and science is in quotes, um, with an individual who published a study suggesting that uh, the measles and Shabella vaccine was responsible for cases of autism. Um, that person was later shown to have fabricated data, and he was employed by a firm who was, who was suing uh, who was suing uh, the vaccine manufacturer in uh, Great Britain. It's really a sort of one of those situations, unfortunately, Doctor, where it sounds like the, uh, the lie is already out the door by the time the truth is getting out of bed and getting its pants on. Well, the, the problem then you have scientists like, like McCarthy, uh, you know, who, who, for reasons that are unclear, um, suddenly have great foothold and credence with the public that, you know, they're kind of looking for that. And it just, there is, there is no evidence that it causes autism. There are no evidence that, that immunizations in general cause autism. They've been looked at in huge studies. And in fact, in some areas in Great Britain, say Denmark or Sweden, where they've looked at people who weren't immunized and compared them, the, the incidence of autism was actually higher in those who were not. So there just is no evidence medical expert and he's a medical expert because he's gone to school he's a doctor scott now joining us he's a pediatrician over at uh, mercy medical center thanks doctor for reminding us of the importance of immunizations and vaccinations and making sure that people especially come back and get that mmr booster about what time do people want to make sure their kids come back to get that well it can be in the 12 to 18 month range but i think one other thing there is no nothing worse nothing worse than losing a child and i've seen children die of overwhelming bacterial infections in less than 24 hours with things that we prevent now with vaccine preventable diseases i've lost a friend to meningitis i've lost an, i have another friend who lost a daughter to meningitis it's it happens it's real we have a way to prevent it Speaking from the heart, Dr. Now, thanks for joining us again here on the WMT Morning Show and appreciate uh, the drop of knowledge this morning. Hope you have a good week, sir. All right. Thank you.